share my river knowledge with you, baby. Drive you crazy. Integrating keyboard shortcuts into your workflow is helpful. Out of the box, the majority of commands in Revit have a shortcut, and as you hover over the icons, these shortcuts will be displayed, but there are some features without. First, let's cover how to set up shortcuts. Navigate to the View tab. To the right, you will see User Interface. Click this, and a drop-down will appear. At the bottom, you will see Keyboard Shortcuts. Sure enough, when you hover over, you'll notice there is a keyboard shortcut for keyboard shortcuts. How helpful. Within the dialog box, you'll see a list of Revit commands, along with their shortcuts if assigned. The search bar at the top allows you to search for a command, select a command, and at the bottom left there is a text box which allows you to assign keys. Things to consider, you're not salad fingers. For it to be worthwhile and fluent, it's best to have keys close together. It can't conflict with other shortcuts and Revit will prompt you if it does. I found starting with a number also can cause issues. Here's my personal top five. Number one, AB, which I use for coins auto section box. I prefer this to the built-in section box. I probably use this a hundred times a day. Number two, SV to create a section. Number three, TT for the trim extend multiple elements tool. This tool is an epic time saver when working with pipe, duct and tray. Number four, MC for multi-category tags, which if you don't use is another massive tip in itself. And finally, number five, if you've watched my previous video on branching at 45, you'll have seen this in action. U9, D9, O9 to control pipe sloping up down off. This is just my favourite top 5. I use others. If there's a command you use often, find out if there's a shortcut and if it doesn't have one, make one. Mm -hmm.